What's up everyone, it's Hector here with another computer video because I seem to be having some issues with my computer. Uh, again, my CPU is overheating and I know I've done like two other videos on this channel about my CPU overheating and those usually get pretty good views because there are going to be so many issues that are going on that it's causing your CPU to overheat. I pretty much thought it was revolving around my uh, all-in-one water cooler, which is the Cors Corsair H100i version 2. Um, I bought that like almost five years ago, I, I want to say, and I actually made a video when I first got it and I first installed it and everything. Corsair has some really great hardware. I even have this Corsair hat on. I got it when I got some RAM. Um, they have some really great hardware, but their software just keeps running into all these issues. And um, they ended up doing this IQ software, I believe it's called, I-C-U-E, and that's supposed to control all of the cooling, all of the RGB, all of the peripherals, like mice and keyboards and all that. And uh, in one of the latest updates, well, it might have even been like a year ago, I don't, I don't even know, I haven't really been keeping track, but on one of the updates to IQ, many owners who have the H100i version 2 couldn't see the H100i version 2 on their IQ software to control the fans and to even see if it's pumping water or anything. It just stopped showing up on the software. And um, I've had issues before, as I said, and it seems like they changed the layout of how to plug it in. And I even got the Corsair Commander Pro, uh, pretty much like a fan hub with an RGB USB hubs all mixed into one. I got that to make sure all the, the fans could connect and the the cooler connect can connect and everything. Never was able to get the RGB working on any of those fancy fans that cost so much money. Um, then, like I said, the cooler kept messing up here and there and it would just overheat. And I thought, well, maybe I just didn't seat it properly or something. So I, I've reseated it multiple times. I put new uh, thermal paste on. Um, and of course, I blow out the, the fins when, uh, when there's dust in there. And the fans started making this really ugly noise, so the bearings were probably all worn out. So I replaced the fans as the first thing. I thought maybe the fans were just broken, and so there wasn't getting any airflow to the radiator, and maybe that's why it was getting hot. Staying idle at 70 degrees Celsius, play video games, then it goes up to like 96 degrees Celsius, and then it just like caps right there. Uh, frame rate drops and everything. It's terrible. I couldn't really do anything with it. So... I pretty much was saying, okay, I, I'm pretty much done with Corsair, at least with this H100 version 2. I still have the Corsair keyboard. I really love the keyboard. And at least with the IQ software, it seems like the keyboard's RGB is working with that. I gave up on the RGB fans. I just have an RGB you know, bar, a little light that I can mess with. So for the first time ever, I'm just going to try and do open air cooling with this Noctua NHU1S Comax Black or it's just called the Chromax, I guess. I don't know. Chromax black design. So um, basically just stick this on your CPU, put either one fan or two fans on and it'll just uh, keep the, the fins, the heat sink fins cool. The heat pipes will, you know, the heat will rise up in the pipes. The heat will go into the fins. The fans will blow the, the heat off and then it'll like kind of cool, go back down, touch the CPU. I believe that's how it works. And then goes back up when it gets hot. And when my CPU started overheating, originally I thought maybe it was just the fans. And one of the fans was making this terrible sound, like the bearings were just worn out. So I originally bought some new Noctua fans to put on the Corsair radiator. But the, the cooling didn't improve at all. So that's when I just went not to a open air Chromax black uh, heat sink, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm going to install it, see how that goes. Maybe take a look at the radiator because um, based off of what I was reading, maybe one of the radiator hoses is clogged because one of the radiator hoses gets hot, but the other one stays pretty cool. And supposedly both of them are supposed to stay hot to keep the heat, to keep the cooling, the hot water, whatever, uh, flowing and to make sure it stays cool so let's see what happens and let's see if uh, 
this will fix anything. So I attached the mounting bracket to the motherboard, put the thermal paste on the CPU, which was included in the uh, Noctua heat sink. Then I attach the heat sink to the CPU, and now I have to attach the fans to the heat sink. But, uh, so these fans only clip on with this little, almost like a hanger. It's like a little metal aluminum hanger sort of thing. It just clips onto two of the fan holes, and then you just sort of stretch it onto the heat sink. And another thing which really kind of irritated me is the uh, instructions was like, oh yeah, you can also buy a second fan and you can buy the two to one splitter so you can put two of the fans in the same CPU header. And I'm just like, really, you can include that? You included the other brackets? You couldn't just include a, a fan splitter? My other CPU cooler thingy had a fan splitter, but it's attached to the, the little thing that goes on the CPU, that little cooling block. So I can't disconnect it and then use it on, on these fans. So uh, either I'm just going to put one on the CPU header or I have to buy a, a splitter and figure that out. But I'm going to snap these on somehow. One goes on the top and one, one goes on the bottom or like this. One goes on this top and one goes on this bottom, I believe. Alright, so I'm all done installing my new Noctua Chromax heatsink. Uh, it was pretty simple. I just had to put in these four screws around the CPU, put on the brackets, tighten the four screws like that, then put on the heat sink to attach the bracket and screw on those little two screws onto that, that bracket. And then for the fans, I just had to put those little hanger clips on the sides and then put one over the top, one over the bottom. And uh, it, it normally comes with just one fan. And it said if you put on a second fan, they want you to put on these uh, other rubber pads because the Noctua fans normally have these rubber rubber pads on the four corners on both the front and the back side. But it said if you're putting in a second fan on this heat sink, they included even thicker rubber pads for the back fan. And so I put those rubber, rubber pads on the inside where the heat sink is and then the fans like this, put the rubber pads like that. And then so the air is going in through the front blowing in through the fans right here, then blowing in through this fan, cooling off the heat sink, blowing out that fan, and then blowing out the back side. So it's just straight through like that. I also have a fan on top blowing up just in case. Um, these are 120 millimeter fans, and then I have another 120 millimeter fan right there. I know this one's 140 millimeters, but I don't really remember what these ones were. Already is running way cooler, way quieter, Noctua fans are usually pretty quiet. It was only at 40 degrees Celsius at idle. Then I put in a video game, did some benchmarks, maxed it all out. Still only went to 40 degrees Celsius. So yeah, forget this game Corsair H100i V2 or whatever. I know it's been many years, maybe it just got clogged and whatever. But I did have many issues throughout the years. As I said, it's usually the Corsair software and then I got the Corsair Commander Pro, whatever the heck. That was another <clears throat> another $90 just for this little hub. And then the software doesn't even really work. I just installed that, didn't even have to use any software, and it was good to go. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link to an Amazon listing for this Noctua NH-U12S Chromax Black and some Noctua fans in case anybody wants to buy this for uh, for their computer. Want to get away from uh, all-in-one water cooling if you want. Um, again, this is the all-in-one water cooling and radiator. There are some that you can actually fully disconnect and fill up and drain and all that stuff yourself. But that is a lot more uh, more maintenance. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Just another, my CPU is overheating, but I said it was the cooling block. Bought the Noctua NH-U12S Chromax Black. If you want to buy this yourself, I'll leave an Amazon listing in the description box with some Noctua fan Amazon listings. If you use my links, I'll get a small cut of it, but it won't cost you anything extra. It'll just help keep my YouTube channel and my websites running. 
And speaking of my website, you can also check out hxchector.com or hardcorehector.com. Sometimes I do some tech articles, you know, talking about reviewing this stuff and talking about my older tech or whatever. I also have uh, collectible articles here, just like uh, my collectible YouTube channel where I talk about, you know, championship belts, anime figures, going to, going to conventions. I have a bunch of different things that I like to do. So, yeah, just check out all the description links and... And uh, you can leave a comment, thumbs up if you like to like this and all that good stuff. I think I already said that, so whatever. See y'all later. <laughs>